Good day to you one and all. It is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. If you can hear like the, the, the faint strains of an air conditioning unit, that's because there's an air conditioning unit just over there straining faintly to try and keep me warm on this chilly winter's evening. So I might address you wearing nothing more than a vest and some trousers. Um, I was going to put this jacket on, but then I realised that last time I covered the band that I'm going to talk about tonight, today, rather in this moment, um, I was wearing the same stuff. So I'm trying to mix it up for you. Can't say fair in that, can I? Um, today is part two of The Cure. They're doing, they've done something else um, in addition to the track I covered only a week ago. So it's exciting times to be, a, a, for those of us who are The Cure enthusiasts, um, I obviously am one of those. Um, so I'm gonna sing the theme tune and talk to you about The Cure. Nice. Still rides again. Again. What should I play? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that was. Um, it was an E minor 7, but then I sort of accidentally diminished this. I don't know. Maybe it was a 6. E minor 6. Sound like an A7. So a couple of things before we get stuck into it. Um, obviously, the darkness. With, I'm here in unfamiliar surroundings. Um, you'll be familiar with this. This is the Deep Fried Sunshine artwork. My friend, uh, Mr. McCabe, who made that record with, with my brother. Um, it's a great, it's a great record. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about that. I think I'll probably analyse that at some point because there's some awesome stuff on there. Um, and I've also been trying to help my younger brother Dan with his um, look for the next lot of darkness stuff. Um, so I think for the forthcoming videos and whatnot, um, I kind of see him, kind of see him like topless, but with some like feathered stuff out there. And I'm suggesting he gets a, 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 a top rocker tattoo on his abs that says, walking through fire. It doesn't matter about that. That's probably not what you're here for, is it? Um, today, uh, we were, told that uh, our single, um, The Longest Kiss, was, was up for consideration for the Radio 2 uh, playlist. And sadly, I don't think it made it. Um, so here's, here's what's on the Radio 2 A-list. Chapel Rowan, Hot To Go, that's a good one. Um, Ella Henderson, I'm not sure about that one. Filthy Rich, don't know that one. Gwen Stefani, somebody else's. Lady Gaga and Bruno Mars, like they need the fucking money. Come on. Kylie, yay. Kylie, Lights, Camera, Action, that's a, that's a good title, isn't it? Sting's on there, Sabrina Carpenter, some of the stuff that I've covered recently. And on the B list, The Cure made it with A Fragile Thing, the song that I'm going to be talking about. So, yeah, A Fragile Thing. Sorry, it's, sometimes it's difficult for me to uh, distinguish between Fs and Ths. I missed that part of school because I used to have this thing where I've talked about that before. Anyway, um, so we were in direct competition with The Cure and evidently we lost. So congratulations to The Cure. I will try not to allow that to colour my analysis. Um, in fact, there will be no colour in this analysis. It's another black and white episode. I think I'll always do black and white when I'm away from my, you know, actual YouTube studio on account of the fact that I don't know how to stop this camera from doing black and white. Anyway, Cure, a fragile thing. And their forthcoming album, Songs of a Lost World. I was thinking about uh, the title of my memoir and I thought maybe nice while it lasted, I thought that would be good. Um, speaking about the track, Robert Smith has said, a fragile thing is driven by the difficulties we face in choosing between mutually exclusive needs and how we deal with the futile regret that can follow these choices, however sure we are that the right choices have been made. Enough about my... Oh, doesn't matter. And it, how it can often be very hard to be the person that you really need to be. Okay, it's difficult to sort of glean anything other than sexual innuendo from that. Um, early reviews have described a fragile thing <laughs> as it doesn't know um, a lush, expansive rocker that evokes the deep, dank feelings of the Cure's masterpiece, Disintegration. And they pointed out that although the band first started playing the song two years ago. The layered, fleshed out studio version hits different. And Mixel9997 wrote, well, I've waited hours for this. I've waited hours for this. I see what you've done there, Matt. Mixel. That's clever. All right, I'm going to play the song. Uh, I'm going to talk about it. And uh, I will try not to be bitter 
and resentful about our exclusion from the Radio 2 playlist. Okay. Let's try and figure out this chord sequence because it's quite interesting. So you can hear there's a definitely an E in there and a G, so let's do a step that might be E minor perhaps. This is interesting because it's got like this ostinato pedaling part. And you can hear that the bass notes are rising from E to F sharp, G, A. But that second chord, if, it, if there, there, there's definitely uh, that's in there, there's an A in there. So there's the bass part that goes that's not the root, that's the minor third of what I think is the second chord. It's like something like an F sharp, but there's definitely E's in there as well, and B's. And then there's a G, but it's still with an E and a B in it. You'd expect a B and a G anyway. And then an A minor. Nothing is as it seems. There's definitely sort of like note holding happening from the first chord that passes through all the others. Probably putting the key of it in E minor, I would suggest. And that's my favourite of all keys. It's not the saddest of keys according to Spinal Tap, of course that's D minor. But it's terribly sad and you can get right down here on a guitar if you want to. You know. I think we're going to have to wait until the vocals comes in to determine what the key actually is, if anybody cares. I care, because I care. It's just one of the things that I care about. And personal hygiene, you shouldn't be seeing that. I'll put that person. Platinum Egoist by Chanel. Because I travel a lot, and stick deodorant doesn't count as liquid. And it smells nice. Every time you kiss me, I could cry, she said. Every time you kiss me, I could cry, she said. So as I, as per the theory posited earlier, it is probably an E minor, I think. Cause... Because I think it's sort of, the melody is in the E minor pentatonic, so. something around that C, which is what the bass was doing, but I think it's over an A minor. This is, I think this um, vocal delivery is more in line with what I think I was expecting last time I covered uh, the previous release from The Cure. Um, it is super affected and super kind of like, um, it's really, really emoting as opposed to you know, a more traditional sort of sung vocal like we heard on the, on the previous one. I, could die tonight, I do think he's one of the greats. I, I really don't think there's anybody out there that can do this. this love is a fragile thing. Nothing. There's the hook. This love is a fragile thing. This love is a fragile thing. This love is a fragile thing. You could almost imagine Bill Withers doing that, couldn't you? Nothing you can do to change the end. I love that lyric. This love is a fragile thing. This love is my everything, I think he said. Um, there's nothing you can do to change the end. <sighs> Sometimes think that people conduct their romantic relationships in a really toxic and <laughs> damaging way and then when it comes to like the final reckoning everybody's trying to sort of pretend that 
they what their grievances outweigh the ones of their erstwhile partners. Um, it's almost as though they're trying to get a good review on Yelp for, for their romantic endeavours. Um, so I think it's probably something that Robert Smith is alluding to there. There's nothing you can do to change the end. I mean, your memory of it can certainly evolve, depending on what you choose to believe about it, I suppose. And sometimes you just forget. Maybe that's the best thing to do, actually. Just sit with the pain for a minute and then forget, I suppose. But under no circumstances, forgive. It's kind of messing around in the E minor pentatonic with the solo stuff with a lovely chorus, kind of traditional gothy sounding guitar patch, I suppose, and then interfering a little bit with the A minor scale, or certainly the harmonic A, a minor. It's been a long day, I'm sorry. Do you think that um, The Cure did a radio edit to get on Radio 2's playlist? Because, you know, they'd most probably say, well, can you trim off that uh, intro, get to the scene a bit more quickly, um, maybe lose the guitar solo. I can just imagine Robert Smith going, fuck off. Every time you leave me, it's a lie, and it's all that regretting what you what you're not. It almost sort of could be an anthem for a pet, but from from a pet to their owner. <laughs> yeah, like um, I always think that like cats and dogs don't perceive time in the same way that humans do. You know, humans perceive time in a way that it sort of dilates, and everything's elastic and fluid, and sometimes you can. You know, time passes quickly, sometimes it doesn't pass, doesn't seem to pass at all. Um, and I think with a pet, when you leave, they're just frozen in amber until you get back. And then they perceive you and they perceive time again. Um, or maybe I'm wrong, maybe I think Robert Smith's theory is that when the owner leaves, they just sit there reflecting on the fact that they're not humans and they can't leave with you and go off and do human stuff. You know, maybe there's a restaurant, a sushi restaurant that's fussy about dog hair or something like that. Probably, that's probably not what this is about, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I think the, the regret for being, not for not being something, I mean, we've all experienced that particular type of sadness. Well, okay, so it stopped recording and I have no idea why that happened, but I figured out how to make it colour, so that's, that's cool, isn't it? <laughs> we don't have to endure any more of that morose, black and white waffling, from me at least. Yeah, so I think what I was talking about before the camera failed me was, uh, I was talking about dogs, and I, I was sort of positing a ridiculous theory that uh, Robert Smith was speaking from the perspective of a pet as he left to go to a fussy sushi restaurant that was concerned about airborne dog hair. I'm sure that's not what it was. I, I was just saying words at that point. Um, but it's a lovely... It's a lovely song, there's a... There's a sort of guitar solo bit that's messing around in the E minor pentatonic zone. So there's a lot of stuff happening under the hood that's, that's quite interesting really, and, I, and, I, and I, I enjoyed that. These notes that are ringing out, the B and the E, which become the sort of overriding theme of the progression. Um, and I love the... This, this love is a fragile thing, the hook there. And I do wonder, like, if a radio plugger said to The Cure, Yeah, Cure, if you want to go on that Radio 2 playlist, what you got to do is, uh, you know, cut off a bit of that intro, get to the chorus a bit more quickly, make more of that hook, maybe put a dance beat on it, get rid of the guitar solo. Um, and I think Robert Smith and gang would just say, No, no, we don't want to be on the radio that badly. And I know exactly how they feel. This is a beautiful piece of music um, and really sits lovely with the classics from The Cure's oeuvre thus far. So I'm happy to hear it and I hope you are too. Use the comment section below to tell me what you think and uh, I'll catch you guys on the ice.
My ego is a fragile thing. But I'm delighted for the cure to get on the playlist. I didn't want to be on that thing anyway. Making all that money. People on building sites and in cars and just listening to the songs that I've spent the last year working on. It doesn't matter to me. Congratulations, The Cure. All right, nice one, guys. See you later. All right. Okay.